Hey friendos, it's Super Limey, and today I am back with another speed build. Is this late? Probably. Uh, this video is an apple orchard. It's very fall themed. It was there for fall. But I did have like over four hours minimum footage that I had to go through, and I think I edited this video two or three separate times to cut it down because I think the first time I tried, I was able to get it down to two 15 minute videos of outdoor furniture, like outdoor landscaping building and then indoor. But then I was like, I don't want to do a two part video. And then I got it down and I was able to get it to like 40 minutes and it was just this ongoing trial. Finally today, 12 minutes of footage. Some things are cut out. You do not see me make the bathrooms in here and I can apologize, but really to cut out the bathrooms, is that the worst of it? It's not. So, and some of the landscaping is cut out, but I leave enough in that you can see what I'm doing. This lot, when I built it, I kind of built it to be a combination. It has rolling hills here. Nice little, little landscaping. Uh, this was pre-platforms, by the way. But I kind of built it so you could use it as a rental lot if you wanted. I don't know if Granite Falls has a big lot like this, though. But, you know, I think you can use them any rental lots anywhere now with the update. Um, you can go on vacation anywhere. So this would be a cool vacation spot. Uh, you could use it as like a bar. You know, you could use it like you could set it up as a store. You could bring just the family here for an adventure day and they can go swimming and they can play and whatever. Or you can actually use it as a house. I wanted it to be kind of multifunctional because uh, orchards in real life, I don't know if people have been to them like if you haven't essentially i used to go for school like two times a year to an orchard and they it would be like a house someone lived in and then they they'd sell stuff or you, you could pay and eat food you know like they have options like that normally there's like a separate house for some of it but there wasn't for the this one because i mean there's only so much room i'm pretty sure this is a 64 by 64 now, please excuse any fall decorations. Like I said, this was supposed to be up in fall, but I was a little behind uh, just from editing and over and over and over again. Also, I've recorded this voiceover like two or three times and I'm just like slowly starting to go crazy because I keep getting background noises and things happening. And right now my cat is snoring, but you know, I can forgive her because I don't think it would be one loud enough to pick up. And even if it was, that's the cutest shit you've ever heard and you know it. Um, either way. Yeah, so this is a fall build. And let's be honest, you can always use a fall build in The Sims because it's always a different season and yeah i can i've pumped out some winter builds i'm gonna have a couple more winter builds i hope i'm not promising anything but i think that it doesn't hurt to have something a little out, different on my channel for now because i feel like just doing winter videos and then you know i'll be burnt out again this was pre-platform so you're lo what you're looking at is all foundations uh just this ends up having tons of landscaping and stuff, things that make it look cute. Small pool, you know, it's a cute little place to be. I think that lots like this are really useful in The Sims where you can kind of make a decision instead of just... Here's a lounge where there's nothing for anyone to do. So, I like I said, I've said this before on a video, but I want to bring activities. I want my sims to be able to do things, even though I don't do gameplay very often. I can bring my sims here and actually do it, because that was my big problem. I would bring them to a bar, or I'd bring them somewhere, and then they'd be like, wow, there's literally nothing to do here. You know, so my sims end up meeting a stranger on the sidewalk and marrying them that day most of the time. Uh... <laughs> As an adventure to romanticize my life, I think everyone should take some steps occasionally to romanticize your life. I have started frothing the milk in my coffee again. So today, I have not had tons of caffeine today. I did have my normal like two cups or whatever, but I now have a decaf with frothed almond milk and cinnamon on top in a Doctor Who TARDIS mug. And I realized that I'm wearing 
a hoodie my friend gave me in like 2013, which is also a TARDIS hoodie. So really, I'm just on brand right now. Um, anyone else that was like super obsessed with Doctor Who? I have not watched it recently. Um, I do sometimes go back and watch the seasons that I really loved, which were like kind of like the Golden Three, which was like Charles... Charles or Christopher Eccleston, um, David Tennant, and Matt Smith. I loved those three. And I feel like a lot of people did. And the show kind of slowly, like, lost a lot of its fan base afterwards. I feel like they have so much space in between seasons that sometimes it's just, like, you lose interest or whatever. But I can go back and watch some of those episodes, like today if I wanted and probably cry because I was very invested in it and that's why I still keep all my Doctor Who stuff around because it's not like I hate the show anymore. Also they were a little late on the woman doctor thing. Everyone wanted a woman doctor and no shade to the guy that took over after Matt Smith but like they were like oh no we're not ready for a woman doctor and then because people were so, like, irritated that they didn't do it, then it kind of felt like the one they use now was just a forced thing on their end. Like, they were like, oh, people wanted a woman doctor last time, but then it's kind of like the fan base has changed or whatever, and you've kind of lost some of those people that were so diehard and wanted that so bad. Um, you know, it's like too little, too late for a little bit. And... I don't know. What happens to, like, have, what's a fandom that you used to be super invested in that, like, has gone out? Because fandoms really change. Like, obviously, like, there's some things that are just, like, ride or die. Like, I'll love this until I die. Which I think for me is, like, Hannibal. Hannibal, I love it. And if I'm saying the same wrong, forgive me, but Mads Mikkelsen or Michelson, I... It's not my gift to say this word. Uh, he is, like, petitioning to, like, get their fourth season of Hannibal. Like, he is petitioning to get it going because the dude who wrote Hannibal is like, I have one more season in me. And all the actors are in. And all it needs is just a green light from some executive to be like, okay, people are being annoying enough. And I can watch that show day or night. Whatever. Also, I'm very invested in sitcoms. There isn't really not a sitcom that I haven't watched all the way through. Um, sometimes I get to them late. Uh, right now I've been like whittling away on Modern Family because I just never had gotten around to it kind of thing. And it's finally on Netflix. But I can't go wrong with a good sitcom. Like, what's your what's your thing? I want to know what are people's things. Am I talking about the build at all? No. You can see it. It's an orangey kitchen. I don't know. Fall in a cozy vibes. I had lots of fun. I placed lots of clutter items. I didn't put the footage of me placing them all in here. Back to what's really important. Do you guys have a sitcom that you like? I feel like people who are into sitcoms are like really committed to them. I really love... What's the ones I've watched recently? I've watched like a lot. But like recently I rewatched New Girl again. Um... Which, the last season of New Girl, I know that's where they didn't want to end it. I was really, the first time I watched that season, really hating it. And I watched it again and I realized it was kind of funny, you know? I feel like the glory days of New Girl was like, oh, what season was that? Probably post-breakup, Nick and Jess, where they're kind of figuring everything out. And also, I'm like, I really love Dr. Sam and... I love that actor. He's in so many things. He always plays a douchebag. Uh, Pardon my French there, but it's the truth. He always does. And I remember him in that movie Fired Up, which was like about guys taking advantage of cheerleaders and actually falling in love with cheerleading. And I remember him just singing that uh, Chumbawamba song really loud. Which, if you don't know Chumbawamba, they have a few 90s hits. And I just, that scene is one of those scenes that's just, like, stupid but sticks in your mind. And I was also thinking about how there's not a ton of great comedy movies lately. And it's been driving me crazy. Like, the old comedy movies that people call stupid or whatever, like... Can we just please appreciate that, like, people are out there trying to make us laugh and... 
why is there such a, like, oh, there's, there's dog barking outside, and it's, like, triggering my, like, brain to not work. Please. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but, like, it was driving me nuts. Either way. Oh, like, good comedy movies, like, they kind of, like, have just, like, thrown them out the window. They're like, we're not gonna do this anymore. And, like, Adam Sandler's still making movies, but what do you call those good? Because I wouldn't. My my baby would. Something funny about my daughter, there's Adam Sandler performs one song with Elmo. And it is, like, her favorite song. And she loves Adam Sandler now to the point that if she sees a picture of Adam Sandler, she, like, gets very excited. And I I tested it, and she likes all of his, like, music. She's just excited because it's Adam Sandler. And is that a stupid thing? Probably, but something about it's really funny to me because like my daughter's obsessed with Adam Sandler, and I was joking with my uh, my significant other that I would be buying her a framed photo of Adam Sandler to make her happy for Christmas. In the reality, did I buy my one year old a tablet? Yes. Should I? Probably not. But it was because she likes playing with her phone so we bought like a $50 tablet so if she breaks it we're not too upset whereas if she breaks our phone that would be a nightmare you know you pick your battles okay she doesn't really she knows how to press things what else do you want you know she's just a cute little peanut doing her thing and if she just wants something to hold in her hands she's got it we're golden i actually love this little rec room well, the idea, like, the kids go upstairs to play, and there's, like, a bunch of things for them to do up there, and it's, like, to keep the rest of the house nice. There's, like, the one play area. I love this kind of idea. I loved using all the posters. I feel like it made it just homey. I felt like clotheslines were something that needed to be out here. And this is just me finishing up some landscaping. I do pathways all over it. You will see that. Um, I think I put the pathways in the screenshots. You'll see those either way. Uh, yeah, just lots of fun decorations. (laughs) 